What's up guys, DRock1992 here. Uh, it's been a while since I've done an about video. Uh, it's been about a week or so. Um, been busy, definitely, but um, but now I'm back and I'm going to do this next video on a very funny actor, one of my favorite um, comedians, uh, part of the brat, the, yeah, the, no, the frat pack, part of the frat pack. Uh, Vince Vaughn. I'm going to talk about him. Uh, <clears throat> Vince Vaughn is really... There's two careers to Vince Vaughn. Not many people probably know. I mean, a lot of people today know Vince Vaughn as a funny comedian, you know. A funny, um, advice-giving, uh, charismatic kind of guy. But he was also charismatic in drama roles early on in his career. He wasn't really a comedian starting out. You know, he started with drama roles, and then he branched out into comedy. Um, so, without further ado, I'm going to talk about his movie career. <clears throat> in 1991, he starred in his first role. Uh, it was an uncredited role. Um, it's a movie called For the Boys. Um, uncredited, however. A couple of years later, in 1993, he was in his his real debut. He had a small role in the football movie Rudy. Uh, so that's how he got his start. And then a few years later, a couple movies later, um, in 1996, uh, this movie put him on the map. Swingers. Uh, he did this movie with a guy he often collaborates with, uh, John Favreau, or Favreau, something like that. Uh, this movie, um, I haven't watched it, I'd like to someday. It is where he teaches John Favreau's character how to swing, basically, how to be cool, like him. Uh, but this definitely opened the public's eyes to this charismatic actor Vince Vaughn. Year later, he starred in the sequel to the world famous Jurassic Park movie, The Lost World Jurassic Park. Um, he did that. In 1998, he starred in the remake of the Alfred Hitchcock movie, Psycho. Um, this, this version, the remake of it, was not very cr well critically received, but it happened. It was a remake of the 1960 classic from Alfred Hitchcock. Um, Vince Vaughn plays the title guy, Norman Bates, um, but, um, haven't watched it. I'd like to watch it someday, but... Um, but that's definitely one to take mention of because he was the main actor and, you know, in this remake. But he continues on with his acting career in 2001 in one of my favorite comedy movies of all time, Zoolander. In 2001, he makes an uncredited cameo. Uh, he plays... Derek Zoolander's brother in this movie. Uh, Derek Zoolander played by Ben Stiller. Uh, but Zoolander, um, one of my favorite comedies of all time. I'll talk more about that when I get to... I have talked about it already when I did Will Ferrell. But when I do Ben Stiller coming up, I'll really talk about Zoolander itself. But... The movie that was Vince Vaughn's breakout role, this one really did wonders for him. And did wonders for him in his comedy career, because it really was one of his first big comedy movies. I'm talking about 2003's Old School. It put him on the map. It put Luke Wilson on the map. It put Will Ferrell on the map. It really made their careers. This movie was a career-making movie. Um, he plays sort of his, like what he normally plays, charismatic, cool, suave, sophisticated, um, you know, cool, uh, type of guy in this movie, Old School. 
have watched it. I like it. It's pretty funny. Uh, you know, and uh, but this movie really did, really was the breakout role for Will Ferrell. I mean, Vince Vaughn, and Will Ferrell, and Luke Wilson. A year later, he comes out with Starsky and Hutch, the remake of the uh, old TV series back in the 60s, 70s. Uh, Starsky and Hutch, um, I talked about it with Will Ferrell. I'll talk about it a little more here with Vince Vaughn. He plays a villain, Reese Feldman, uh, who's a drug dealer. Um, that Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson's characters, they play Starsky and Hutch, they have to stop stop Vince Vaughn's character, villain, from, uh, you know, distributing his drug operation out. Um, they have to stop that. But Starsky and Hutch, a good movie, a good, re uh, you know, a good, uh, definitely a good movie. But he stars... In 2004, also, he stars in one of my other favorite comedy movies, Dodgeball, a true underdog story. He plays the title guy, Peter LaFleur. Uh, this is about him. His gym is about to be foreclosed on, Average Joe's gym. It's going to be foreclosed on by um, the powerhouse Global Gym, headed by um, uh, Dwight Goodman. Uh played by Ben Stiller. Uh, you're going to notice Ben Stiller's bit, been in a few of uh, Vince Vaughn's movies. Uh, big collaborator with him. Uh, but in order to avoid being foreclosed on, they have 30 days to give up to give $50,000 uh, to Global Gym to save their gym. So they enter a dodgeball tournament to try to win $50,000. The first place prize is $50,000. So the the movies about the whole the comedy and drama of trying to win this dodgeball tournament. Uh, it's a hilarious movie. It's one of those movies where you can't take it too seriously, you know, or else maybe it won't be funny for you. I mean, this is just that type of movie that's... I mean, I mean, it's absolutely hilarious. I love this movie. I mean, it's one of my top comedy movies of all time. Uh, also in 2004, he comes out with Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. He plays an uncredited role in this one. He plays one of the rival newscasters in this movie. Uh, I'm not going to describe it any further because I described it with Will Ferrell. This was his movie. Uh, in 2005, he was a supporting character in the famous Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Uh, this movie is very prominent because Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, they're both the main stars in this movie, and, well, that's where they found their romance. Uh, and, um, basically, uh... I'll talk more about it once I talk about either Jolie or Pitt. I might talk about both of them. But he plays a guy named Eddie. Vaughn plays a guy named Eddie who is friends with Brad Pitt's character, Mr. Smith. Uh, <clears throat> another great comedy movie that he starred in, also in 2005, was Wedding Crashers. He starred in this one with Owen Wilson. Uh, more on Owen Wilson later on. I've talked about him already, kind of, but... Uh, but Wedding Crashers is a movie where he, his character and Owen Wilson's characters, they are professional wedding crashers. They try to... Cra they crash weddings and they sleep with women, basically. At, you know, that they meet at the weddings. So they meet this pair of women... Uh, Vaughn's crush is Vaughn's woman is played by um, Isla Fisher, um, and she's a nymphomaniac. She's a sexaholic, you know, something like that. Owen Wilson's woman is played by Rachel McAdams, uh, who I probably will talk about in the near future. I've seen a few of her movies, uh, but anyway, um, 
they find true love with these two women and it's a whole dilemma about the whole Wedding Crashers thing, basically. But Wedding Crashers is a funny movie, definitely. It has an early role from Bradley Cooper, uh, which I'll talk about Bradley Cooper in another video. Definitely. But, um, the Wedding Crashers one of Vince Vaughn's masterpieces, for sure. In 2006, he stars in The Breakup. Um, with Jennifer Aniston. He dated Jennifer Aniston for a little bit, but The Breakup is a movie where, um, he has to live in the same apartment. I've talked about it, actually, with Jennifer Aniston, because if you remember, I did Jennifer Aniston's, uh, video. And, um, so he stars in The Breakup with Jennifer Aniston. In 2007, he comes out with Fred Cla uh, Fred Claus. He plays Santa Claus's brother, basically. He plays in this movie with Paul Giamatti. If you've never heard of Fred Claus, I'm not surprised because this movie didn't do well at the box office or with critics. Or he didn't do well with critics. Definitely. Um. In 2008, he comes out with Four Christmases uh, with Reese Witherspoon. Uh, another Christmas-style movie. Two Christmas-style movies in a row. In, and both of these movies did not do very well at the box office or with critics. A lot of Vince Vaughn's later films have not done as well uh, with critics, basically. His earlier films did pretty well. Dodgeball, 70% on Rotten Tomatoes. Wedding Crashers, pretty high on the list. You know, I think in the 70s for percentage. Old School did pretty well. Um, but a lot of his later movies, I guess, have been misses. But, talk more about that, but 2009, he comes out with Couples Retreat. Uh, he's in this movie, this is where four couples have to try to save their relationships, basically. Uh, Kristen Bell's in this movie, I think Jason Bateman, um, but that was one movie he did. I don't, this one didn't do very well. The Dilemma in 2011 didn't do extremely well. He stars in this with Kevin James. And um, Kevin James is one who I'm going to talk about for sure. But the dilemma is where he has to... Vaughn's character catches James's character's wife cheating on... Cheating against him, um, you know, cheating with another man. So he has a dilemma. He Does he tell his friend that his woman's cheating on him? Uh, that's basically what the movie is. In 2012, he comes out with The Watch. Uh, this is a movie he does with Ben Stiller. Uh, who else is in this? It's Vince Vaughn, Ben Stiller. Who else is in this? There's this, there's this black dude that's in it. Um, and that would be oh, Richard Iowade, uh, who I had never heard of before, and Jonah Hill is the other big guy in this movie but this is another one that didn't do extremely well uh, in 2013 he comes out with the internship a couple big movies you know the internship is his third collaboration with Owen Wilson uh, they did Starsky and Hutch together they did Wedding Crashers and now the internship. The internship is where uh, they get fired from their jobs as advertisers and they have to, they get hold of this Google internship program. Even though they know nothing about computers, they join this internship program and they try to win a spot on Google. And um, this movie wasn't greatly critically received either. Uh, this next one wasn't as well, uh, 2013's Delivery Man, where through artificial insemination, 
Vince Vaughn, his character finds out that he fathered over 500 children. Now that seems like a pretty ridiculous premise. Pretty ridiculous. And I've never watched it before. I didn't go see it in theaters last year. Uh, but it has SNL um, star Bobby Moynihan in it. Um, so that's kind of cool. But I, I assume I'll, I'll definitely see it someday. Uh, he was in... He reprises his cameo role from Anchorman with, in Anchorman 2 The Legend Continues. And that's pretty much it for his movie career. It's been hit or miss, really. But the guy's funny. He definitely um, has that charm, that sophisticated swagger to him, that advice-giving swagger, uh, certainly. There's a new movie that is coming out in the horizon, uh, Term Life. It's going to come out next year. Uh, they don't have a date on it yet, but actually it's, it's not a comedy. It's a crime thriller film. Uh, this movie's also going to star Haley Steinfeld, better known as um, the girl from True Grit, the True Grit movie, the remake. Uh, Bill Paxton, who is... Um, been a great actor for a, a while, you know. He's played supporting characters for a, a long time. And John Favreau, who is going to collaborate again with Vince Vaughn. Uh, but this is the only movie that's coming out in the horizon. On television, uh, nothing extremely memorable. I mean, he's been a movie actor his entire career, pretty much. 1989, he um, stars in 21 Jump Street, uh, you know, in an episode of that. Doogie Howser, M.D., the show that stars um, Neil Patrick Harris, he appeared on that in 1992. He's hosted Saturday Night Live twice, once in 1998, the other time in 2003, or last year. And uh, Sex in the City in 2000. I mean, he's done other TV appearances since then, but not really worth mentioning. Uh, other than that, that's it for the career of Vince Vaughn. Uh, hopefully he can come out with some good movies that are better critically received in the future, for sure. Uh, he is very talented uh, at what he does. And that's it for the video. Uh, DRock1992, out.